Well, the corner piece series is a very simple sequence of moves, and it's an example of a 3-1 commutator. So I'm going to carry it out and then talk through it. So the moves are an up turn, then a right turn, then an up prime, then a left prime, then an up, right prime, up prime, left. You can see that that is a very symmetrical sequence of moves. Let's have a look what it's changed. Nothing on the bottom two layers at all. On the top layer it hasn't touched the edges. The only thing that it's touched is three corners. And that's why it's called the corner piece series. And as I said, it's an example of a 3-1 commutator. So what it's done is move around these three corners in a particular way. So this white red green corner used to be here. You can see it's gone over to here and more than that it's just rolled across the back edge. So it used to be like that. It's just rolled straight across the back. This one used to be here, but not only did it used to be there, it used to be in that position. So once again, that has just rolled to the front, rolled along that side edge to the front. And the third corner is this white, blue, orange corner. And you'll notice that the color that's on the top used to be on the side. So that color on the side travels across the diagonal there and lands on the top. And so that's how we can do it. And if I was to do this again, we'll see those corners will move around again. I've still got three corners there. And you can see that I'm now set up, if I do it a third time, that they're going to go back to solved position because this red, white, blue will roll into its position along that back edge. The orange, white, blue will roll into its position along the side edge. And this white, red, green, the final corner, you remember I said that the color on the side goes to the top. So that white color is going to go to there. So let's do that. There we go. Now, of course, the mirror of the corner piece series is instead of turning an up turn to begin with, we turn an up prime. And instead of turning the right face after that, we turn the left face. So the mirror would be up prime, left prime, up prime, right, up prime, left, up, right prime. You can see why I love this so much because it and its mirror are completely symmetrical and it's very simple to understand. So this time the corner that was here rolled along the back edge to there. The corner that was here rolled along that side edge to here. And this time the corner that was in this position went across the diagonal. There's the green sticker because that was on the side. And it's just, it makes a lot of sense to me. It's also, I like it because every corner that's involved is on the top face. And so just let me undo that if I can. Now just to slightly analyze this corner piece series, let's have a look at what's going on. When I do this up turn, and then the right turn, and then the up prime, what you'll notice is that, if I'll start by looking at this corner here, this white, green, red corner. I turn it to the front, then the right face turns it back to the back, but it's in a different orientation. And then the up prime turns it along to this left face. Now have a look at the left face. Everything on that left face is exactly where it was except for that corner. And that's what I want in a commutator. So from here, what I'm doing now is the next turn is this left prime. And that's the one of the three one commutator. So the first three turns were the three. This is the one. I put that out of the way. And now I'm undoing those first three turns. I've done that. And now because I put that corner out of the way, I've got to bring it back. And that's what completes the corner piece series. You can see it's very simple, very useful, and you can combine it. You can, particularly on a lot of other puzzles where it's not simply a three by three, there's some really cool things that can happen with it. That is in a nutshell, the corner piece series.